welcome to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to start a minecraft server in minecraft 1.12.2 now keep in mind that this is not a 24-hour server it's gonna be using your own computer's resources so if you don't have a pretty good computer this probably isn't going to work well for you you're also gonna be using your own public IP address your own router in your house is gonna be used to run this that's perfectly fine as long as you only give this IP address to people you trust for example if you're gonna give it to your best friend your cousin stuff like that probably be okay but if you want to actually start a public server where anyone in the world can join it this isn't going to be the method for you luckily if that is something you want to do you can go down click the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash mc server and that will take you off to game servers where you can get an incredible minecraft server for just one dollar per month if you want a modded server that's going to cost you like less than five dollars a month so it's it's awesome go check it out first link down below so first off what we need to do is come up here to our browser and go to the second link down below that will take us here where we want to come down here and click on the big green download button that takes us off to minecraft.net where we want to play with our friends right down here you see this we want to then click set up your own minecraft server takes us off to this the minecraft java edition server and we then want to click right here download minecraft underscore server dot one dot twelve dot two click on that and it downloads right down here in the bottom left corner it's safe to keep you're downloading it from minecraft.net that's mojang's website it's safe i promise so let's go ahead and minimize our browser for now and now we have this downloaded on our desktop might be in your downloads folder if it is just simply click on the windows key oh, for me it's in the top for you it's probably in the bottom and then just type in downloads right like that and you'll be able to go to your downloads folder and it'll probably be here as you can see there's one for 1.11 from a long time ago in my downloads folder so yeah now We've got this on our desktop. Let's go ahead and create a new folder and then type and just call it whatever. I'm going to call it 1.12 server. All right? And it's actually 1.12.2 server. Just wanna, we want to be specific, so boom. And then just take and drag this into your folder and double click on it. It'll now run some things and do some stuff. If you have any issues at this point, simply go to the breakdown.xyz slash Java, which is uh, linked down below. I don't know what number, but it's linked down below. So you'll be able to download the most recent version of Java, update your Java, and then this should work. Nevertheless, after you've double clicked on Minecraft underscore server, simply open up this EULA document. This is a text document. It opens up in Notepad. And you want to change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, just like that. And then just click File, Save. Make sure there's no no space after this or anything and make sure it's exactly as I have it here all just kind of one string once you've saved it you can close out of that and then double click on minecraft underscore server again it's then gonna load 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 and boom here we go this is now generating your world as you can see right down here it's generating the spawn area of your minecraft server now I'd like to say it was this easy and it is if you just want to play alone but if you don't now let's get on into getting this to where people can play with you from anywhere in the world right your best friend probably doesn't live in your same house lives in you know probably across the street or something but still you'll need to do this to be able to play with him so let's go ahead and just type stop right there it's going to stop the server and close out of it cool now we want to go ahead and open up this handy dandy little windows area right again up in the top for me up at the bottom for you and in it we want to type in cmd it's going to pull up command prompt right click on that and run that as an administrator then go ahead and type ip config ip c o n f i g hit enter and then it gives us all of this information but what we're specifically wanting here is the numbers you'll find right here so first off let's go ahead and over here back in this micro server folder we've got this open come back over here and double click on server you might have to select notepad to open this but you want to open this in notepad okay that's what you want to do for server ip right here you want to take your ipv4 address right over here right and copy that to here now you can't click and, and copy so you have to manually type it for me this is 192.168.1.181 for you it's probably going to be a completely different number but that's okay right whatever it is over here ipv4 address whatever it is copy it Paste it over here and then just click save. Done. Now, go ahead and close out of that properties file. You can leave this open. We're going to need this. Now we want to take the default gateway right here. So 192.168.1.1 is what mine is. Yours might be the exact same on that or it could be something completely different. It really just depends. But whatever it is, take it, come over here to your browser, 
open up a new tab and type it into your browser. So 192.168.1.1. Now it's going to open up something that looks exactly the same or most likely completely different from what you're seeing here. I have a Linksys router. They have a really fancy login page here, right? Really fancy stuff. Most likely you're just going to have like a little login box that pops up, right? It's not, you're going to be like, what? And it's just going to be a little login box. What in the crap do you enter in there? Well, it's actually pretty easy. It can be found in a few places. Everyone from the person who set up your internet might know it to on your router itself, right? On the physical device, it might have it to even the default username and password, which you could find right here at routerpasswords.com, right? So, you know, you, you've got options, but come here, work through all of these methods, and then you should be able to log into your your router. That's going to be, I think, the third link down below. It'll just say router passwords right next to the link. You'll be able to find it. Anyway, once you're here, go ahead and sign in. For me, it's as easy as a click because I use a password manager and it works here. Passwords managers don't always work on these as well. So once you're in your router, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for port forwarding. Now, there's going to be different places for everybody. It might be in port forwarding apps and gaming. It might be in advanced apps and gaming. It might be in advanced advanced apps and gaming. And luckily, we've got a overview of what it will look like right here. So this is our guide, our tutorial on how to port forward your router that is linked down below. And uh, we've got some resources in there for pretty much every router. So go check that out. But nevertheless, for me, it's in connectivity, or I'm sorry, it's in security. See, it's, it's everywhere. So it's in security. And then it's gonna be apps and gaming once it finally loads. So now that my securities tab is finally loaded, I can show you that it's apps and gaming in mine, and then it's single port forward. So that's what we're looking for. Single port forwarding, port forwarding, something like that is what you wanna find on your router. Don't be afraid to click around. You can't break anything. Just don't save any settings until you find single port forwarding, and then you're good to go. So once you find single port forwarding, all you gotta do is click add a new port forward. Sometimes they don't even have add a new port forward. They just have a big list that looks uh, similar to this and you just want to enter into one of those you know that application name could be minecraft doesn't really matter for external port you want to do 25565 for internal port you want to do 25565 and then for protocol you want to do both for you it might also be udp slash tcp tcp slash udp whatever you want to click the one where it allows you to do both of these if you don't have both of these like as a selection make sure you're doing single port forwarding not a port range or port range forwarding if you have single port forwarding you should have the option to do both of these in some way for device ip we want to come back over here to our command and prompt and go to uh, the IPv4 address yet again. So 192.168, it's already in there. And then we want to do dot one dot one eight one. So dot one dot one eight one. And bada bing bada boom, click apply. Da da da, click OK. And there you go, your port forwarded. The hard part is over. Now let's go ahead and actually, uh, how do I? How do I say this? Log into the Minecraft server. So in order to do that, you're going to want to obviously open up the server right there. And then we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft as well. So there's that. Now, when you're joining this server, I would recommend using your public IP address because that's what your friends are going to use to join your server. So to get your public IP address, just go to Google, right? Just go to like Google.com and on Google.com, IP enter two letters right like that IP and you'll be able to see your public IP address right there for me it's or for you it's all blocked except for the last two numbers 0.35 and that's just so you know I'm entering the same thing on Minecraft copy this copy this public IP address boom and then come over here and in multiplayer you can just do direct connect for now join server right so it's gonna go ahead log on into the server and there you have it. Your Minecraft server is now up and running. And if you can join off of your public IP address like that, your friends should also be able to join off your public IP address. If this is working fine for you, go ahead. You can end the video, have fun with your friends, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you haven't already, all that awesome stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and do some troubleshooting here at the end for those of you who might have any issues setting up your server. Now, one of the things that we see happen a lot is that people try to join off their public IP address and they can't. Now, if you cannot join off of your own public IP address, you are most likely having an issue with the port forward. If your port forward isn't set up correctly, it's not working as it should, you're not going to be able to join off of your public IP address. It's just not going to happen. So, that's where you need to look first. Make sure you're doing an actual port forward. Make sure you have TCP slash UDP selected. Make sure all of that is, is good, right? Make sure your port forward is solid. Make sure you saved it. A lot of people will just enter the 
information, not click save. Sometimes it can be far, hard to find save, all that stuff, so make sure that's done. If your port forward is correct, you're most likely going to be having an issue with your firewalls. Now, I do not recommend disabling firewalls, right? I just cannot do it. It's not safe to do that. However, disabling your firewalls might fix your issue. And I'm not just talking about your firewalls with like Windows Explorer up here. I'm also talking about the firewalls that you've got over here on your router, right? So if you log into your router, you'll be able to see firewalls that you have set up on your router and that can cause issues. Again, I don't recommend disabling these. It is not safe and that's why a server over at Game Servers is so great because it just works. You don't have to worry about it. It works. It doesn't require anything from you and you just enter some information, one dollar a month and you've got a server. So. Yeah, but anyway, once this finally loads up, I'll see you here in a second, and I'll show you what I mean by the firewalls inside your router. So in my router to disable the uh, firewalls, you want to come over here to security, and as you can see, there is the firewalls that you can disable. IPv4, IPv6, technically with the Minecraft server, you would disable the IPv4, but again, I don't recommend doing that because, yeah, that can be, that can be an issue. You can also add in a port forward down here, right? So your IPv6 address which you might have this for IPv4, but this would be, um, you can find this over here in your router information. And you enter your IPv6 address here, what ports you should allow, which is 25565 through 25565, and that might allow people to join your, your server. And that only is something you need to try if you can join via your public IP address, but nobody else can. So those are some quick little troubleshooting issues. I would also recommend if you're having trouble at the beginning of the tutorial, opening up Java and getting that to work, make sure, make sure, okay, this is a big one, that your Java is 100% up to date. You can do that at thebreakdown.xyz slash Java. You can go check that linked down below. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We make awesome videos every single day of the week. Well, actually not every single day. We make awesome videos Tuesday through Saturday. Today. Minecraft tutorials, tech how-tos, cryptocurrency, everything is here, so check it out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out, guys. Peace.